All right, uh, before we go to uh, Prapan, there's some breaking news now coming in of a chopper en route to uh, Kedarnath crashing. Some uh, tragic information now coming in. Uh, this was a chopper en route to Kedarnath and uh, it is said to have crashed. Initial details now coming in. As of now, sketchy details coming in, but Mohit Bhatt is joining us with the details of that. Uh, Mohit, the helicopter crash in Kedarnath Dham, what are the details? Well, uh, yes, uh, the initial reports uh, that have come out, they, they basically say that the accident happened, the crash of this particular helicopter happened near Garur Chatti, which is around two kilometers from the Kedarnath main temple, and four to five people were there in this particular helicopter. Now, uh, this particular helicopter took off from Gupta Kashi around, uh, around two hours ago, and what we are uh, also getting to know is that the reason that Prime of SI, uh, the sources are telling us, was uh, was the fog that was there. And as of now, what we are getting, the uh, the helicopter, the chopper crash near Garur Chatti, which is just two kilometers from the main uh, shrine of Kedarnath. The four to five people were there in this particular helicopter. It's also being said that this particular helicopter was being operated by a private company. Now, this private company was Aryan Heli Company, as per the initial reports. Though the details are very sketchy as of now, but yes, we can confirm that uh, four to five people were there in this particular helicopter, and it has crashed near Garur Chatti. It took off from Gupta Kashi. Now it comes just two days before Prime Minister Narendra Modi's program, where he will be in all likelihood going to Kedarnath, and hence this can also uh, is, uh, be problematic for the authorities, given the fact that uh, the uh, uh, such a uh, Prime Minister would be visiting, and before that this incident has happened. But uh, as per the uh, initial reports, uh, the crash happened due to. Uh, the fog and uh, the uh, the pilot had the difficulty uh, in in seeing. As of now, it's being said. Okay. Uh, this is particular helicopter in which usually six people sit. But uh, at this point of time, what we are getting to know is that four to five people were in this particular helicopter, which took from took off from Gupkashi around an hour ago or two hours ago, and it crashed two kilometers away from the main shrine of Kedarnath near Garur Chatti. Okay, all right. So rescue teams have been dispatched already. Amita is also joining us on the broadcast with the details. Amita, any information on the passengers on board? Right, but when it comes to the crash that has taken place, Pratibha, we have the pictures that we have accessed of the crash and I'm just uh, enlarging the photo that has now been accessed. There is a trail of debris and parts of the chopper that are the remains are there. Here is the crash that has taken place and uh, there has been uh, the, 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 the set equipment that has been put on fire right now as we are looking at uh, as it blazes on when the crash that has been reported. Uh, there are said to be at least four to five passengers there on board this chopper. The chopper, they were mainly pilgrims who were... Uh, coming from uh, uh, Fata area in Gupta Kashi and on route uh, Kedarnath Shrine where this unfortunate crash that has been reported. We still don't know if there are any survivors or not. But people we are told from the rescue teams have already been dispatched to take a look at uh, the ruins there of the chopper that can be uh, clearly seen that is up in flames now and there is a trail of the debris that is also very much visible. Parts of the chopper as in when it crashed and leaving a trail of debris it crashed right here and burst up in flames. Okay, all right. Uh, Amita, thanks for joining us with those details. So these are the first pictures from the accident site. Uh, the debris can be noticed there and also a small blaze. The rescue teams have been dispatched already. The initial information, the preliminary investigation coming in is that uh, there were about four to five passengers. These are uh, private choppers uh, for taking the pilgrims to Kedarnath. And uh, this was a private operative. And there are fatalities. That's the initial report coming in that uh, there are uh, fears of fatalities also being reported but the rescue teams are currently at the spot. One of the biggest challenges in Kedarnath even usually is the weather condition which makes it extremely challenging uh, for the chopper pilots as well. Mohit continues to stay with us in the broadcast. Mohit, uh, the details as of now, no official count coming in but there are fears and um, you know b because of the choppers that are taken out by the private uh, operators there, the weather also poses quite a challenge. Well, yes, in fact, and the reason that is being said about the of this particular crash is said to be the foggy conditions over there, and there was low visibility, and the 
uh, this particular helicopter uh, took off from Guptakashi, four to five people, as per the initial reports uh, which have come out, were there in this particular helicopter. Uh, it was being managed by a private company named as uh, RN Heli Company. And uh, what we are also being uh, told is that it took off from Guptakashi and it crashed near Garur Chatti. Now, Garur Chatti is just two to 2.5 kilometers away from the main shrine of Kedarnath. Now, this helicopter was bound for the helipad, which is near the shrine of Kedarnath, but due to low visibility or the foggy conditions as of now, uh, as per the initial reports, uh, crash near that particular area, the release and rescue team uh, have been dispatched for the spot, given the fact that how the Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be also visiting Kedarnath in a few days from now, and hence the security apparatus was already there in Kedarnath, and usually the security apparatus and the, and the hospital services are also there in Kedarnath. So uh, they all have been dispatched to this particular location, but it's also feared that there could be multiple uh, fatalities in this particular uh, accident, as we were also showing our viewers the pictures of the site. Now, this is a very difficult terrain also, and it would be very difficult uh, for the uh, for the relief and rescue team to reach to the spot, and also the help of the of the of the other helicopters could also be taken. But yes, it's a very uh, tragic incident that has come to light. Where five, uh, four to five people were there in this particular helicopter. But we are also being told it's a uh, this particular helicopter was being operated by Aryan Heli uh, Heli Company, which is a private company that okay. operates. Uh, uh, the daily helicopter services from Guptakashi towards uh, Kedarnath. So as per now, as as per the reports, four to five people were there in this particular helicopter when it crashed. Okay, all right. Uh, Madhav Das Gopalakrishnan also on the broadcast with us. Uh, Madhav, very sketchy details coming in, but uh, you know the Chopo operations uh, in Kedarnath area are also. Uh, you know, underseen by the DGCA. In this case, foggy uh, conditions of the weather said to be one of the reasons that could have led to the crash. Well, we do know that intimate weather does make a huge impact as far as the chopper operations are concerned. And in this case also, that is the information coming in. Remember that this is the last week of these chopper operations because two days after Diwali is when, in fact, Kedarnath uh, Shrine uh, officially closes uh, for the winter and only will uh, once again reopen uh, during the summer months. So uh, uh, it is quite unfortunate that this incident has taken place. But yes, a tweet now coming in from the Minister of Civil Aviation, Jyotirath Sindhya, where he said that the helicopter crash in Kedarnath is extremely unfortunate. We're in touch with state government to ascertain the magnitude of the loss and are constantly monitoring the situation. Remember that this is also an area where the weather can suddenly change, so that also leads to a lot of impact in terms of uh, uh, the ability to conduct such operations. This area where the chopper crash has taken place is an area called Fata. Uh, the casualties, of course, at this point of time, the exact number of uh, casualties is not really known. The administration team has left for the spot for relief and a rescue work. But yes, images coming in which really show, of course, the debris strewn across the mountainside and, of course, even some portions uh, that are ablaze. Details of exactly what uh, is the situation as far as the passengers and crew on board are not available at the moment, but we will be trying to uh, uh, get, in fact, more details on that. The possibility, though, of a uh, altitude in this kind of circumstances does seem to be uh, rather difficult. But at this point of time, what we know is that the location where the crash has taken place is two kilometers away from Kedarnath at the Gupkash. Of, and it had, of course, earlier taken off from Gupkashi, where these operations are regularly carried out towards Kedarnath. Back to you. That's right. Uh uh, you know, the rescue operations are currently underway. The rescue teams are there. In fact, we also have visuals uh, taken just moments after the crash. There was a blaze, a lot of smoke around as well. Uh, no official word yet, but there are fears that there could be multiple fatalities. Well, absolutely. That is the fear at this point of time, that there could be multiple fatalities. Of course, the civil aviation minister also, uh, in fact, uh, tweeting on the same. And in fact, uh, also the DGCA also saying that this uh, civilian choppers uh, uh, crash. They are trying to get more details. The team from the administration also leaving to that particular location as well uh, is the information coming in. But as we have been discussing, that in such a situation... Of it's very difficult in this kind of inclement weather to carry out uh, uh, operations and also given the fact that the weather... I, I want to uh, read out the tweet that has come in from uh, Mr. Sindhya as well, saying the helicopter crash in Kedarnath is extremely unfortunate. We are in touch with the state government to assess the magnitude of the loss and are constantly monitoring the situation. That's the first uh, reaction coming in from Jyotira Ditya Sindhya. Uh, but Madhav, you know, weather uh, being one of the biggest conditions, reasons why the crash could have taken place, uh, but it could hamper the rescue operations as well, the inclement weather there. 
that's uh, correct, and we have seen in the past as well when the Kedarna tragedy also happened. It was one of the rescue and relief choppers that ultimately also, uh, you know, uh, b- b- its operations were uh, severely impacted by the inclement weather, and they ha- and uh, there were of course fatalities that were suffered due to that chopper crash as well. So it's not something that is unknown in these parts. Very very difficult terrain and extremely difficult weather, which uh, has a huge impact as far as chopper operations are concerned. But at this point of time, uh, 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 what we do know is that uh, whether it is uh, uh, the weather itself, whether it is uh, due to some kind of mechanical failure uh, or technical failure or in fact due to a pilot error or human error, uh, we really don't know the exact at this point of time, we will have to wait for DGCA to bring out its final report and its own investigation into this entire matter before we can finally draw conclusions as far as what the real cause was uh, for such a crash to take place. So that information at the moment is still awaited. And uh, in the meanwhile, of course, we will have to uh, wait and see what the DGCA can uh, tell us and, of course, the ministry and the officials there as to what really prima facie appears to be the cause of this chopper crash. Right, Madhav, stay with us uh, because uh, like we said earlier, Jyotiraditya Sandhya, the Minister for Civil Aviation, has also tweeted his response to what's actually happened in Kedarnath. The helicopter crash in Kedarnath, he says, is extremely unfortunate. We are in touch with the state government to ascertain the magnitude of the loss and are constantly monitoring the situation. So this is, of course, the Civil Aviation Minister uh, tweeting uh, his response to what's happened in Kedarnath. And Madhav, this is also happening at a time when the Chardham Yatra uh, in Uttarakhand is actually actually witnessed a record footfall. Well, absolutely. And in fact, uh, there is uh, uh, Siddhartha updates coming in from the DGCA. They've confirmed that this is a Bell 407 helicopter with a call sign BTRPN belonging to NOIDA-based, to a Delhi-based uh, NSOP holder, beg your pardon, MSS Aryan Aviation. And the location, of course, uh, is uh, two kilometers away from Kedarnath. The total number of passengers on board was six. One pilot also on board. That's the information coming in. So six passengers and one pilot uh, for exact confirmation coming in for the first time from authorities on the total number of people people who are on board that particular chopper and of course seems very difficult at this point of time uh, in terms of uh, 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 what their condition is no official confirmation coming in about uh, whether they are injured or whether they have survived but uh, there is of course a high possibility that several of those on board would not have survived this given the circumstances surrounding the uh, crash we will of course have to wait for the official word yet on that but that's the confirmation coming in that it is a Bell 407 chopper that has crashed uh, the name of the company which in fact is uh, conducting these operations also uh, has come in. It is Aryan Aviation, which is a non-scheduled uh, operation holder, the, an NSOP holder uh, that is, in fact, uh, the kind of uh, uh, chartered uh, uh, operator who, or NSOP operator who typically carries out such uh, operations as the need arises at locations such as Kedarnath, which are difficult to access and where operations are carried out for only a few months in a year. So those details at the moment coming in from the authorities. Of course, more details on the identities of the victims what the exact manifest is and more uh, such uh, uh, information will be available shortly uh, uh, to our viewers. We bring us all the updates. We bring them all the updates as far as the situation on ground there. But certainly, of course, a very unfortunate incident, a very unfortunate accident that has taken place as far as this particular chopper is concerned. Back to you, Sir. Uh, and, and Madhav, uh, since you mentioned the 2013 Kedarnath tragedy as well, there was another tragedy there during the rescue and rehabilitation efforts. At least 18 people had been reported dead. But in that specific case, it was an IAF chopper that was in question here. It's a private entity that was ferrying pilgrims uh, that appears to have now crashed uh, in Kedarnath. The exact details of the extent of magnitude uh, of uh, the losses and casualties still needs to be ascertained. You're absolutely right, Siddharth. You are absolutely right. That was an Indian Air Force chopper that, in fact, uh, had uh, uh, unfortunately uh, crashed during the course of the rescue operations. In this case, it is a civilian chopper. But be that as it may, the fact and the point that I was trying to make is that helicopter operations are uh, quite similar, whether they are for Air Force purposes or for uh, civilian purposes, uh, as opposed to fixed wing aircraft operations. Of course, the complexity and the ability to survive sudden changes in weather, uh, of course, are also very different, but the manner and the nature in which the terrain uh, that is there at places such as Kedarnath uh, allows only for uh, chopper operations and not for fixed wing uh, aircraft, which would require a traditional uh, runway, etc., for uh, these kind of operations to be made. So that is really the difference on ground. Right, right Madhav, let me just interrupt you there because we're getting an aviation expert uh, on the phone line, Mr. Praful.
Bakshi joins us on the broadcast. Mr. Bakshi, uh, an extremely distressing development in Kedarnath where a chopper ferrying about six pilgrims and there was one pilot on board has crashed. Unfortunately, that area has not been immune uh, to these kind of tragedies in the past. Uh, I'm sorry to hear this very tragic news. And as you have mentioned, uh, that this has not been... It is, uh, it's not nothing new about crashes out here. You will also know the previous tragedy in Kedarnath, an Air Force chopper had crashed. There are a number of factors which play a very critical role uh, in, in such incidents. Weather, of course, is the main. Weather, the wind speeds, the sudden drop in visibility, narrow valley uh, there. And, you know, the, uh, the fixed-wing aircraft require a larger space to land, take off, etc., so helicopters are used in this. Yes, helicopters are very, very capable, but then they have the limitations also, especially when it the mountain waves, the waves on the, the peaks, the downdrafts, all these things play a very, very important, crucial role. This aspect is there. Now, we cannot make out what could have happened until the flight data recorder uh, can be retrieved. Then only we can make out what happened, whether it's, there was an sudden fire or a fire after impact on the ground, whether it was a hill, aircraft touched the ground, touched any hilltop or any valley for part of it or tree or something that has to be ascertained. Single engine helicopter, if there was an engine failure, a pilot would have tried to auto-rotate, but then auto-rotation in a slope is a very difficult thing and pilots could have crashed and that also is a possibility. So nothing can be uh, conjectured at the moment, I would not advise. But one thing is for sure, there will be a lot of review in aspect of this uh, flying in such weather uh, uh, places. Should a single engine helicopter be used for these crucial areas? Uh, should there be more safety environment developed, uh, 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 you know, uh, to uh, maintain uh, such a, uh, you know, high intensive activity of aviation in Valley? And uh, what sort of a... Uh, 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 other aspects are there for rescue also, where you will come to know right from the beginning of flying takeoff to rescue operations, everything will have to be reviewed. You cannot take, you know, a lot of um, non-professionals sitting in the field, they don't advise the authorities properly or if their advice or their advice is not being taken, whatever the case may be. So single engine helicopter flying with um, limited resources, on the ground and in the air, all these aspects should be there. And then the authorities who have to maintain this aviation rules, the stopping of flying in case there's an intense uh, weather activity developing uh, uh, high wind speed. Uh, uh, there. Commander Bakshi, let me just interrupt you there because we have an extremely tragic piece of news coming. Uh, Coming from uh, Kedarnath, I'm also being joined right now by Mr. Vikram Adalwa, Agarwal of the state SDRF. Uh, Mr. Agarwal, we're getting news that six people have been confirmed dead. Can you actually confirm that for us? What's the latest status following the crash in Kedarnath? We'll come back to Mr. Agarwal in just a short while, but let me go across to Priyank uh, Tripathi as well, uh, who's joining us on the broadcast for more on this. Priyank, extremely tragic piece of news. Six people are now estimated to be dead following that chopper crash in Kedarnath. Uh, yes, I need to that. And uh, what we are getting to know that uh, there is an extreme weather uh, in this uh, particular area of uh, Kedarnath. Uh, basically, uh, from Srinagar, these uh, flights operate, these choppers operate. And it's uh, uh, around 10 to 15 minutes of, uh, you know, aerial distance, which is being covered by these uh, choppers. Uh, we have also visited this, this uh, particular route time and again. And as our experts were telling us, the route is certainly uh, not uh, in favor of any kind of, uh, you know, operations, although the operations Still continue. Uh, they have been very uh, much at twist and turns uh, to all these uh, uh, while the chopper actually uh, lands at Kedarnath uh, uh, approximately 100 to 200 meters away uh, from the uh, Kedarnath, Kedarnath Trem Temple. And uh, look at the visuals uh, which we have got, which clearly shows that it was totally filled with uh, fog. Uh, it was extreme weather for the, any kind of chopper to fly. And as our experts were also trying to hint out, that since these kind of uh, weather has been continuing, why this chopper operation was allowed to function at that particular moment? These uh, private uh, operations of uh, the, these choppers has time and again raised several concerns that because of the, some sort of uh, you know uh, pressure from the pilgrims who have already booked these mm. choppers or that these kind of uh, 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 you know situation continues, uh, the operation is allowed, which should not have been idly uh, uh, the ideal scenario. 
Bhuj just clearly shows the that that it was very difficult condition when those locals, uh, those uh, pilgrims who were present there, were trying to locate the location where the chopper had crashed. They also had very difficulty because of the visible distance is uh, the is very less. In a bit, can quite clearly be seen in the visuals. Uh, official details are waited, but there is no sign of any kind of movement of all those six people who were on board to this flight. That can clearly indicate that what could have happened to them. An extremely horrible tragedy. Let me go back once again to Wing Commander Praful Bakshi. Uh, that's just a confirmation that we've received, uh, Wing Commander Bakshi, that six people have been reported dead. There were six people on that helicopter in addition to a pilot, so there were seven people on board. We're still awaiting uh, the news of the fate of the seventh individual who was on board that chopper, but six people, unfortunately, uh, Wing Commander Bakshi, have lost their lives. That's a tragic news. Six people, uh, six lives have been lost, uh, seven lives have been lost. I mean, it's very tragic, there's no doubt about it. But the question is, uh, no use uh, just saying that it's tragic. Uh, let us see what we do after this. Uh, there are a lot of suggestions will come. Will we look after, will we take care of the suggestions? Will we talk, will we take firm action on this and all is yet to be seen. I doubt where the, what all the suggestions we had given after Kedadar, in our previous one uh, accident, where was they taken or not? Uh, one of the main thing is of the, uh, should the helicopter be single engine uh, be allowed or not? In these conditions, that is the main thing. And what are the standard of flight safety, operational standard of flight safety in the uh, landing point on en route, surveillance, all these things have to be there. And uh, how to Im impose these rules, authority, who, who, which is the authority? which can impose uh, its, uh, you know, uh, rule position onto the aviation activity. I think a lot of lackadaisical uh, approach is being taken. A lot of people are taking chances that should not be allowed. And, and Vinkam Bakshi, given the fact that a lot of private players are actually involved in ferrying passengers and pilgrims uh, to sites like Kedarnath, do you think there needs to be a comprehensive review now of the kind of SOPs that are followed and a proper overseeing of these operations by a nodal authority? Absolutely, that has to be done by an independent authority. First thing, an independent uh, committee should be formed which should not uh, involve any private players. This committee, aviation experts from Air, um, Air Force, from other uh, uh, agencies, aviation experts, they should be sit down uh, without any political connections. They should now give their proper review. And especially, a lot of pressure comes on the pilot. They are told, I have seen it with my own eyes. I have been witness to it at places. Pilots have been forced to take off. The faulty um, and the with, uh, with mal malfunctions, uh, overweight, bad weather. Yes, it has been done. I've seen it in um, uh, in Galwal area only. So I personally feel the authorities must be there to impose, must be there to monitor, and it should be done very strictly. Uh, and Wing Commander Bakshi, so this is the news that we received a short while ago. That is that uh, as per preliminary information, it was a Bell 407 helicopter VTRPN belonging to a Delhi-based NSOP holder, MS Aryan Aviation. This is the uh, chopper that has ac actually crashed in Kedarnath. Any information, uh, uh, Wing Commander Bakshi, that you would have about the particulars of this kind of a chopper and whether it's actually compatible uh, to be flown in these kind of conditions, uh, precarious conditions in an area like Kedarnath? We are talking about a Bell 407 helicopter here. We'll come back to Wing Commander Bakshi there in, a, in just a short while, but lim but uh, horrible news coming in about the death of six people who were on board that Bell 407 helicopter in Kedarnath. They've now been confirmed dead. Initial reports said that there were seven people on that particular chopper along with the pilot. It still needs to be ascertained as to what exactly is the fate of the seventh individual uh, on that particular chopper. But six people have now been confirmed dead on the part of the Uttarakhand authorities. Uh, Jyotiraditya Sindhya, the civil aviation minister, is in touch with the uh, government of Uttarakhand and has been overseen 
seeing uh, the operations in the aftermath of what actually transpired and it remains to be seen now whether or not a comprehensive review will be undertaken of uh, several private players who actually ply that area uh, during this particular season in Kedarnath in Uttarakhand. Horrible news coming in that six people have now been confirmed dead. Uh, we are still awaiting the details about their identities as well as where they actually hail from and any uh, efforts on the part of the Uttarakhand administration to return the bodies of the six individuals, trace them and eventually return them to their families. So uh, this is something uh, that was, uh, there was a great sense of foreboding in the aftermath of what actually happened and the worst has now been confirmed by the Uttarakhand authorities that this chopper, a Bell 407 helicopter that took off from Gupt Kashi and actually crashed near the Garut Chatti area near Kedarnath uh, has in fact resulted in a tragedy in which six people have been confirmed dead. Priyanka, what can we now expect on the part of the Uttarakhand administration? Uh, the bodies will of course have to be traced and returned to the families. That has already happened because this kind of activity and the operation of the strike should not have been allowed at the first go. After loss of these uh, lives, certainly uh, there should be an inquiry which should be initiated so that uh, in this kind of uh, extreme weather, the top operation should be, you know, stopped and there should be no uh, loss to life. While talking about the rescue, uh, the things are very near to the location because this crash will happen uh, barely a few, uh, uh, you know, uh, kilometers away from the Kedarna temple, which means that, that there are a station, uh, you know, unit which is already there in any kind of uh, natural calamity or any kind of rescue right, Pian, operation. Please stay with us. We're getting some more responses from aviation experts. Uh, Captain Amit Singh joins us as well for his perspective. Uh, Captain Singh, another uh, tragedy in Kedarna. This time six people have been confirmed dead uh, when a private helicopter that was ferrying them uh, to Kedarnath crashed. Uh, tell us a, a bit about the terrain and the kind of precarious conditions in which uh, some of these private players operate when ferrying pilgrims uh, to these areas near Kedarnath. Uh, in uh, what we call a VFR, that is the rules uh, visual met. Uh, which means uh, to a layman that uh, the pilot should be able to see the terrain around clearly, clear of clouds. Uh, plenty of accidents have happened, uh, not only in India, but uh, outside also. The famous one is uh, Kopi, the bride, uh, the sports person who was killed. This uh, helicopter flying, uh, keeping the terrain in sight, suddenly encounters cloud. And uh, for some reason, uh, the crew do not turn back or evade the clouds, but continue in the hope that they will clear the clouds. And uh, such tra tragedies have happened uh, plenty in India. Uh, there was a hard landing uh, in Kedarnath, after which an audit was conducted by DGCA. Right. Uh, but uh, stringent action should be taken against the operator for mm. uh, risking lives and uh, basically manslaughter. Uh, and, and Captain Singh, please stay with us because the helicopter in question, as per reports, is a Bell 407 helicopter VTRPN. Is this really compatible uh, in flying uh, in such conditions uh, near Kedarnath? Is this something uh, that uh, also needs to be reviewed? Uh, the International Civil Aviation Organization says that uh, a risk assessment should be conducted for uh, carrying out helicopter operations in uh, hilly terrain. Uh, the, ideally, it should be conducted with a helicopter, which is uh, uh, which has two engines, and uh, should be able to operate in uh, instrument conditions, which means in tight clouds. But uh, due to the high altitude, uh, a twin-engine helicopter is heavier, so will not be able to operate. So, uh, the operators use single-engine helicopters. Uh, what if the single-engine fails? Where does the pilot land? So there should be a suitable landing spot. So a detailed risk assessment needs to be conducted and submitted to DGCA. Obviously, DGCA has accepted uh, whatever risk assessment has been conducted, uh, which is uh, a total farce in terms of uh, mocking safety. Basically, as we have, uh, everybody has witnessed, the public has witnessed the number of incidents in the region. And uh, DGC has also accepted that uh, helicopters were overloaded at some times and uh, pilots were working harder, which means uh, revenue was the motive, uh, the prime motivation. 
and not safety. And, and Captain Singh, would you be in favor of a comprehensive overview? Because there are lots of private players who do, in fact, uh, uh, in fact, they've become involved uh, in ferrying pilgrims to Kedarnath. So it's a flourishing industry in its own respect. Uh, do you believe that there needs to be proper oversight, something that was lacking so far, and a comprehensive review needs to be undertaken uh, to prevent future tragedies such as this? Of course. Uh, the whole operation needs to be stopped and uh, uh, the risk assessment has to be relooked. Uh, why do uh, people take chances or operators push the pilots to operate uh, excessive number of sorties uh, back and forth and uh, in such terrain and such conditions? So who is monitoring the conditions? Uh, is there uh, clearly the regulator does not have adequate oversight in the region. So there has to be some sort of uh, a control, command control post there or a remote hmm. control wherein uh, uh, the DGC has oversight of what is happening in real time and tracking the helicopters because helicopters are not tracked by what you see flight radars in yes. this region. So uh, what, all, what all is happening in that region, nobody knows. Uh, uh, only when an accident incident happens, then we come to know. So near misses may be happening uh, so many times. So uh, there has to be a comprehensive review of the whole operation and needs to be stopped immediately. Right. Many thanks for your perspective there, Captain Singh. Let me go back once again to my